Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm gonna be creating a glitter bug nail. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I'm gonna be using pure black and crystal clear from Nao, and I've got Monique from Glam and Glitz. I'm also going to be using Mylar. I love this stuff. Oh, it's lovely. And also oh, is this, oh, jellyfish glitter from Nail Sugar. So I just wanted to show you the acrylic in the pot because it's just such a pretty colour. It does darken slightly when you pop it onto the nail. Um, but it's still a pretty green. So I'm going to cover the whole nail in this. This is going to be our base colour. So Glam and Glitz is... Um, I don't think you need to cap it. Um, I would cap it, especially if it's got a glitter in or a shimmer. Um, and also, because it's quite a wet system, I just think if you cap it in clear, it just gives it a little bit more strength. That's just what I do, though. I'm not saying it's a right way or a wrong way. Um, also, my tripod's broken. So, I need to try and get a tripod ASAP, otherwise I can't do videos. I'm so annoyed. I don't even know how it broke. I just got to my nail desk and one of the legs had come off and it's not even like, oh, look at the glitter, even though it's it's acrylic. Um, yeah, one of the legs had just snapped off, which was annoying. Oh, never mind. So I'm gonna now cap it in clear. And then once it's set, I'll go ahead and just file and buff it. So I got a little bit carried away with the filing and I filed some of the colour off the bottom. <laughs> so I have made the nail a ballerina shaped nail. So this is the, I just had to show you this colour top coated. You don't actually have to top coat the nail right now. I just wanted to show you this colour. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. So I'm going to pop that in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds. I made these eyes um, using the same technique that you would use to create a candy ball or a bubble rose. Um, there are lots of tutorials on YouTube on how to do these, so I haven't gone into detail on how I made them. I mean, if you want me to show you how I do them, let me know in the comments below um, and I'll see what I can do for you. But you've probably seen videos by now on how to do them, so I thought I would leave that part out. I'm just flattening off the backs um, to create a bit more surface area for them to stick to the nail. You can do it with an e-file, um, I just find, because it's so fiddly, uh, I just found it a lot easier to use a hand file to do this. Plus also it's, it's not really much effort <laughs> that you'd need, a hand, that you'd need a, an e-file to be honest, but I just use a hand file. Um, right, so we're going to take a bead of clear acrylic. This is going to be um, the bug's body, so I'm just patting it out, pressing it out into the shape and size that I want the bug's belly to be. Then I'm going to pop the um, jellyfish glitter onto that wet acrylic. I did put too much glitter on, but it's a glitter bug. Glitter bugs need lots of glitter, right? I'm going to pop some Mylar on top of the glitter as well. Oh, I, do you know what? Don't I always go out of shot at some point in a video? What's wrong with me? Am I, yeah. Apologies for this bit. <laughs> so when you're happy with how your glitter bug's tummy or body is going to look, just go ahead and cap it in clear acrylic. I wanted my glitter bug to have a very big, chunky tummy. He's a, he's a fat little glitter bug because he's got a lot of glitter in him. Um, just cover it in clear acrylic. 
you obviously if if someone actually wants to wear this on the nail you can flatten down the the tummy the body um, you don't have to have it as big and proud as this one that I'm doing and also the eyes you don't have to use them big eyes you can just paint the eyes on well, I thought they were fun so I left them so I'm just making sure all the body is covered and then once it sets I will file and buff it so I filed around it and I've just filed over the top and buffed over the top just to smooth it all out now I'm taking the black acrylic and I'm going to create the bug's head. I always fiddle with this acrylic. The black acrylic I find is quite, like if you play with it too soon it's quite sticky. And I always am too impatient and I go in and then it sticks to my brush. And I think why, don't I, why can't I just wait a few more seconds? Because I'm so damn impatient. <laughs> so I'm just pushing the head down a bit flattening it out so that we've got a nice area to stick the eyes to I'm just making sure the head is the the shape that I want so I didn't want it bigger than the body but I wanted it big enough to pop the eyes on then I'm going to use my size 4 3d alpha brush it's looking really tatty um, and I'm going to take some small beads of clear acrylic one for each eye and I'm going to pop it on the head and then I'm going to pop the, why did I think I could pick it up with tweezers? It was only going to fly off, wasn't it? So <laughs> I put it on with my fingers. Um, so we're going to pop one eye on. Look how cute it's going to look. Oh my God. Um, so I'm going to get another bead of clear acrylic. Pop that next to the first eye. And pop the other eye on. Oh, I did do it with tweezers. Maybe, maybe it wouldn't ping off. I can't remember doing it with tweezers. <laughs> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 3D alpha brush again and I'm just going to put some small beads of clear acrylic um, on top and underneath the eyes and just, I don't want to make it look bulky, but I just want to put some clear acrylic around the eyes just so that I know they are not really going to go anywhere. Not that I don't think many people would wear this on their nails to be honest. This is more just a fun nail. But if you did want to, if someone did want to wear it, then obviously, you know, I'd paint on the eyes and flatten the body, like I said earlier. But I'm just going to poke the clear acrylic just around the eyes. I don't want it to make it bulky. I might, I might be repeating myself. I'm having one of those days where I'm having to do this voiceover about 10 million times. <laughs> so I apologise if I'm repeating myself. So there we are. <clears throat> the eyes are now covered in clear acrylic, hopefully to keep them nice and safe on the nail. I'm going to be using my Elite 99 colour gel to create some detail. This is my one of my new brushes. Um, I got it from AliExpress. It's a Bowen. B-O-A-N, I don't know why they put, they should have put that name on with white because that blue doesn't show up at all well on that brush. Not that it really matters. It was only about 60p the brush. It's, I can't believe how cheap you can get stuff off AliExpress. So I'm going to now create the detail. So we're going to put um, a little, um, what do you call these? We're going to put the antennae. I don't know why, I can always do, I can never get one side, the left side of a nail, I really struggle to put the detail on, like the right side is absolutely fine, but if I have to do the same on the left side, I really struggle to get it the same, well I've got it on there, but that left antennae is thicker than the right one, but it, I mean it's not the end of the world, so I'm going to pop some legs on. <laughs> I'm only going to give him four legs, so like two arms and two legs. I'd probably give him six, but you're not going to be able to see the middle ones. Because he's got such a big body. I think he's ridiculously cute.
And there we are. So once you're happy with the bug's legs, pop it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And then we're just going to top coat around the parts that we haven't, like the gel needs top coating and obviously the bug's tummy. We're not going to top coat the eyes. Don't top coat the eyes because they are, they will have already been top coated. Now we're going to top coat the belly, which is the best part. Look how pretty his tummy is. Oh my goodness. So just go around the hole now and not the eyes. And look how cute. Oh my God, I love him. So he goes in the lamp to cure for 30 seconds and he is done. There we are. So if you did like this video, please leave me a thumbs up. Um, if you haven't already, do comment on my giveaway video and you will be in for a chance of winning lots of nail sugar goodies. Um, do consider subscribing and um, I think that's it. Um, if I don't get a video up tomorrow, I will get a video up as soon as I can. I just need a tripod. Oh my god. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to stop moaning. <laughs> Have a really nice bank holiday weekend and I will see you all in the next one.